Hey, so uh, here's my one year update about my veneers. I know I promised I was gonna show you the journey and everything, and I promised I actually made the, the, the video, I made the vlog about it, but unfortunately, when I changed my computer, Final Cut Pro won't allow me to open it in that new program, and uh, the obvious Google answers or solutions weren't working, so I literally have a video of trying to show you guys, and I can't get it open. Nonetheless, uh, here's my one year update. So just a reminder, I got uh, 20 veneers, porcelain veneers total. Um, I have 10 on the top and then 10 on the bottom. The option to get uh, 12, 12 on the top and 12 on the bottom was there, but because my smile is wide and sometimes you can actually see when I smile real big, you can actually see uh, my uncovered teeth. However, I didn't care about vanity so much as I care about practicality. And one of the things about having veneers is you have to alter your diet because you can't um, eat certain hard foods. So I decided to uncover, keep those teeth uncovered so I can like eat all the stuff you're not supposed to eat like and just chew with those teeth. And so for me, that was the best decision. Um, so I eat stuff like nuts and I'm very careful, but I eat nuts and like gummies and like stuff that you, you should really stay away from because I have my other teeth. Um, but anyways, so biggest takeaway is um, I love my smile. Um, I love how my teeth are white. I love how I don't have to worry about, you know, being subconscious about my smile because I know that I can leave with it. If you look, it looks, my smile looks natural. It looks um, like a, a nice color. And you can't really tell that I have veneers unless maybe you have a really trained eye. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I like to go into Colombia. Also a reminder, uh, the price in Colombia is way cheaper. So in the US, you can actually, per tooth, you can pay $1,000. I ended up paying for all 20, $5,000. So it's significantly cheaper. Um, you're probably gonna end up paying maybe five or 6,000. And this is for porcelain veneers, not even like the resin that is last seven years. It's the ones that uh, last up to 20 years. And I had the, side note, I'm digressing a little bit. I have the other veneers, like the resin, the resin one, that also look great. But the problem was, like, I'm not. I had to stop eating foods like curry and drinking dark coffee, and I just didn't do that. And so it stained my teeth. And with this, the porcelain, I don't have to do that. When I eat curry, I just like brush my teeth afterwards and like you know, get all the stuff out real good, and I'm fine. Another pro is that they did not shave down my teeth. Um, and that's kind of like the new thing these days. If you're getting your teeth shaved down, you're probably getting crowns and not veneers. So make sure you look up that up as well. Just, I know that I haven't had any problems. Nothing has broken or anything. It's good quality work. When I've gone to the dentist, even dentists that do veneers, they're like, yeah, these look great. So love to hear that. And, uh, the only regret that I have, and I'm going to be honest, is I have not been very responsible with uh, the mouth guard. Now, when you get veneers, especially if you're a teeth grinder, I'm a teeth grinder, you need to get the mouth guard and you have to wear it at night. Why? Because when you grind your teeth or clench your teeth, the pressure actually expands uh, your, uh, moves your teeth, so you start to get gaps. Now, to me, the gaps are like, that I have now are like the end of the world, <laughs> but they're actually not that bad. But as you can see, there are some gaps there, but um, in the long run, is it affecting my smile that much? Uh, you guys tell me. <laughs> um, what else? Um, truly, that's the only regret that I have. Um, I regret not sticking with this so make sure that you stick with that so you don't have to you know think about it later um, these are going to last for 15 to 20 years um, maybe I can make them last longer but um, what I noticed about the video that I posted before is that so many of you guys 
reached out to me on Instagram and you were asking me like is it safe and it was a lot of women actually that were like I'm not sure about going by myself like what do you do like can you give me any advice etc so between now and the last video I've actually been working on um, curating medical tourism groups in Colombia and I'm doing my first trip in July of 2022 and um, I almost said 2020 like we were in the pandemic <laughs> but it's July 2022 and basically it's to like help alleviate the stress for all the people that want to get veneers I've made contacts with uh, doctors who are trustworthy and vetted it was one of the things that I was um, worried about when I was doing my own research was like are these good doctors and also I've been living in Colombia for so long for six years that um, I just want to kind of show Colombia off a little bit and show that it's not just the best kept secret for medical tourism like low cost quality medical tourism but it's also a beautiful country with beautiful people and so if that's something that you're interested in hit me up on Instagram yep she travels or even go to my website yep she and uh, send me your information at the bottom and I'll send you the itinerary but it's again it's for the women who don't want to go by themselves who uh, like to travel are adventurous and who uh, want to get veneers or dental work or get their skin um, taken care of a year ago my skin was actually terrible but today I stand before you with a uh, no filter <laughs> because of one dermatology appointment and uh, some dermapen treatment. All right, well, I hope that answered some of your questions. I did give some prices and things like that. So, um, yeah, have a good one.